Savannah, back to you. All right, Sam Brock in Houston for us. Thank you. And we're joined now live by U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams. Dr. Adams, good morning. Good to see you again, sir. Good morning, and uh, it's it's really uh, I didn't didn't expect that uh, I'd be on the Today Show uh, for such a somber occasion. Uh, I want America to understand this week it's going to get bad, and uh, we really need to come together as a nation. I, I heard the stories that you were just playing, young people out um, on beaches. Uh, we, we see here in D.C. Uh, that, that the uh, district set up a cam for people to watch the cherry blossoms. You look on the cam, you see more people walking around than you see cherry blossoms. And this is how the spread is occurring. And so we really, really you need don't think everyone people are taking it seriously? I think that there are a lot of people who are doing the right things, but I think that unfortunately we're finding out a lot of people think this can't happen to them. When you look at what's going on in New York, yeah. and we said this at the beginning of our 15 days to stop the spread initiative, that the numbers you see reflect what happened two weeks ago. We don't want Dallas or New Orleans or Chicago to turn into the next New York, and it means everyone needs to be taking the right steps right now, and that means stay at home. Yeah. I hear the urgency in your voice, sir. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, actually, because the president tweeted just last night around midnight, and he said, um, and I can put it up on the screen, we cannot let the cure be worse than the disease. At the end of the 15-day period, we will decide which way we want to go. What does that mean? Well, it means that our 15 days to stop the spread initiative really was based on the fact that when it came out a week ago, we were about two weeks behind Italy, and we really helped, hoped to, uh, to instill a sense of urgency across America. That includes pulling down elective surgery cases, and I have an uh, op-ed about that. That includes our social distancing measures, stay at home, don't take any unnecessary travel, avoid groups of larger than 10. That includes not teleworking, and again, there are parts of the country that are doing it, but these mitigation measures work preventatively. They work best the earlier you do them, and people are still reacting and waiting to see spread right. before they decide to get serious. Well, we talked last week, Dr. Adams, and you, you acknowledge that it's likely going to have to be more than 15 days that we take these measures. But, and again, this is the hazard of trying to interpret a tweet, um, but it sounded like the president was at least considering ending these measures after the 15-day period when he says... At the end of the 15-day period, we will decide which way we want to go. We don't want the cure to be worse than the disease. That sounds like he's worried that what we're doing to stop it is worse than the virus itself. So where do you well, come down on that? Well, Savannah, as the nation's doctor, I'm here to help America understand how we need to respond to this. And where I come down is that every single day counts, every single second counts, and right now they, there are not enough people out there who are taking this seriously, and you just see it looking in California, people on the beaches. You see it in, in, uh, in Washington, D.C., the people out looking at the cherry blossoms. We need to take this yeah. seriously. We, we've talked a lot about that graphic. Everybody's seen it now about flattening the curve. This is the effort we're all collectively involved in right now. Um, if we're not testing as much as we could be, how will we know? I mean, what's your progress report on where we are on flattening the curve when you have places like New York State saying, we're not testing you anymore unless you come in here to the hospital? So if you're not testing, well, how will we know if these measures are working? Well, that's a great question. And uh, I had a tweet out yesterday where I pointed out last week, if you look at Monday to Friday, testing increased uh, by, by tenfold. Uh, testing has definitely um, significantly increased across the country. Here's the problem. We, are, we aren't testing the people who are at highest risk right now. And it's why yesterday you heard the vice president say, and you heard me say that we need to make sure we're prioritizing testing for our health care workers. We need to take care of the people who take care of the people, for people in hospitals, and for people who are at highest risk right now. But as Tony Fauci has said many times, and people have heard me say this too, everyone needs to act as if they have the virus right now. So uh, test or no test, we need you to understand you could be spreading it to someone else or you could be getting it from someone else. Stay at home. In New York, the governor, in New York's the place where they have the most.